Yes, G2 have had a win. They have also had a loss. And of course, I think G2 is the best team in the world. And now it's up to us to defend that, to prove everyone that we're right. When I'm in a tournament, I, I don't care about the nationality of the enemies. I play every game like it's the same game. Good luck, like guys. There's a lot of up and downs, but with this new MAD roster, I believe we can create something. Life is just a, it's a constant growth. It's mostly just kind of knowing yourself and not being afraid to just pick on yourself and get better. There's nothing better than seeing your top players pop off and your top players perform. That's where the magic really happens. I think that M8 is one of those teams that we will really struggle against because they understand things the same way we do and they have equally as talented players. We don't really have a rival. The only rival is ourselves, so as long as we get over that, there's no one in our way. Yo, this is lit! Getting into this new M80 team has been very good so far. Getting to connect with each other, their emotions, their feelings, and the way they work as a person. We're a bunch of friends having fun together. I had to sacrifice a lot in my life to be, to be where I am right now. I had to sacrifice a lot of time with my family, a lot of time with my friends. It's, it's hard, it's a really hard decision to make. And sometimes I wish I spent a little more time with my family. So I'm really lucky to have the team. Those guys are my best friends. I don't know if I like you as a friend. You're, you're like my coworker, but... That's, that's messed up. Yeah, that's messed up. If I had to choose, I wouldn't be roaming with you. No, that's crazy. But it's all good. That's crazy. Yeah. That's why it's next to go. <laughs> Everyone shares the same ideology or mindset and you know getting to move in with the guys in Austin Texas is going to be great I mean the house it's messy <laughs> very yeah. messy it's like a war zone you know war zone? the war zone yeah. but our house Baby and I, I we try we try to keep it like a temple you know it's very we're lucky let's just keep know, it like, like that, that. It, like in a way it's holy right yeah, yeah. we try to just it's keep clean. it clean it's the best of our abilities. So. Smells nice because we have the, the air purifier yeah, or whatever. Purifier. It smells amazing in there. It's cozy, you know? The whole room. The group is just an amazing bunch of people, so I'm happy to be here. We're definitely going to bring this energy to the major. I think everybody's going to put more extra effort into like just being the best. That's what we need to do. Our upcoming matchup is going to be none other than the Marshmallows taking on M80. How are we feeling about this one? Obviously, Eminem, a team from our home region, a team from EU, and then M80, one fifth our own region, we can say. <laughs> they got spoiled, they stole one, but still a cracking team from North America. One of them's got to go home, and I don't want I either know. of them to go home. I'm I just know. like, oh. Winning, to me, is very important. I'm a very competitive person, but winning, at the end of the day, isn't everything. I feel like to me now it's more about just living the day to day, just enjoying it the most I can with the people I'm around and just giving it my all. M80 haven't necessarily given many of us the performance we, we were really hoping for. I think a lot of people kind of would have assumed that M80 would have been one of those teams most definitely making it through to finals. We started very slow, but we, we, we caught up. The one thing yesterday is they felt like the juggernaut had finally awoken. That these boys remembered, hey, we're some of the best players in the world and we know how to play well and win as a team. We worked very hard for it. I would say that we're ready for it. Another game, we got G2 up against Virtus Pro and if history repeats itself and this is not looking good for G2. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Virtus Pro really are G2's arc nemesis. You know, I, I've not always been at the top, so, you know, I can't let it get to my head that I'm at the top right now. When I was, like, lower, the things people said didn't matter to me, and it's kind of the same right now, you know, now I'm at the top, and still, the things people then say now, it, it doesn't, like, matter at all. It's gonna be an exciting one. These two squads have battled against each other a lot, and now coming in against each other, a historic matchup. G2 is the best team in the world, period. First kill of the game goes to Solitov, taking him down and giving Eminem a round advantage in the round. Yeah, big guy for a dragon. When I first started, I put a lot of pressure on myself to do well. 
which I think ended up imp actually impacting how I played and making me play bad. Because I, I was like playing to not lose and playing to not make mistakes. And now I play to play, I play to win. Eminem, excel yet again. Ah! We're giving them ones, boys. Let's not, let's do shit together, bro. You working on your business, working harder than everyone else, having a smarter plan to reach your goal, getting the most wins I can possibly get in a siege tournament. Just gotta keep improving. There we go, a flawless run from M80. Let's go, boys. Very poor performances from the rest of the team, Doki included. I'm not holding the back. Tell me when they open the freezer hatch, okay? Virtus Pro, like, I think they're very, very good. Like. They are gonna go far in the tournament. See, just, just go in my list. Yeah, I didn't alpha, but alpha. I called some strats that I wanted to practice before the major, like in official. To see like uh, the pace and uh, the game, how we could play against uh, teams that play similar to VP. I don't think they have what is needed to beat us. We just show them like what we can do. No! No, no, I just want to have a memorable career. If that involves winning nothing, or if that involves winning everything, I just wanna remember, you know, one day tell my family about what an incredible career I had. Nice. I think the, the mentality when we just like focus our minds to win is just maybe the most important thing. Well, very, very fast clear going on so far here from G2. No sign of it slowing down as well. Jump, 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 jump. We have best team in the world. Yeah, I'm confident that we're going to win. Playoff contentions for Doki. You can tell the pressure is going to be in play for him. Trying to pop up another rotate wall here as well, but finds yes! the angle. Doki, come to. Fucking go. Well done. Well done, Doki. Now this angle turns against the favor of M80, but Iconic sneaks in the damage. He's got to stick it now. He can get off it maybe one more time, but the drop is in, and so is the kill. have only gone and done it, winning out this series versus none other than M80. Phase two's over, boys. This is it. We're down to our teams that will be joining you all at the forum on the 5th of May. At the end of the day, what's most important is the journey that we go on, and we go on that together. And the memories and the experiences that we have together, the things that we're going to look back on one day and think more about. So just you don't lose sight of that and the results are going to be what they're going to be. But, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative of that. I feel like we were, the vibes were, were not there, at least for the first two games. We were kind of out of it. When we start losing, our mental just goes somewhere else. We just start overthinking. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but the road to success it's not it's not straight. I still wake up tomorrow. Life goes on, you know. Just a just a journey, you know. Improve on it, learn from it, and just keep going. At the end of the day, we've been a team for what a month and a half, two months max. We barely practiced for NAL. We had such short time, and we still made it here. We got, no, we're gonna play qualifier for Game of Eight. We're gonna try to play that. We're gonna play NAL stage two. We're gonna try to go to the next major, and then the next SI, and it goes. Yeah. Doesn't end here, we just started. Being at the LAN event is just like amazing because you are competing, so like you're preparing every day, like practicing and like you're thinking about the matches already. You you can already feel the feeling, you know, of being there. Oh my God, guys! Wow! Oh, it's actually nice. That's the trophy. That's insane. that looks insane. Sometimes I play like two characters, like even on Twitter. Like Twitter like yesterday, I think. Should I be like the villain or the hero for this major? Nothing good has come from Brazil since Carl. Are you gonna tweet it or should I? When people see that, they they respect me. Uh, it's fun to be the villain. 
Holy moly. That actually looks really good. <laughs> like really, really good. The feeling of belonging is extremely important. And within a team, I, I do think that I feel that the most. Take a seat, Carl. I sit here. It's more that you have your role, you have the guys around you, and you guys are all fighting for the same goal. I don't think there's any other stage that's been better than this one. I'm trying to think. In every group of friends, you always have the same sort of characters. And in our team, it's Carl the Clown. So Alemao, he just, he, he's supposed to be a captain and <laughs> he's not the greatest at that uh, because he just makes way too many jokes and takes life way too unseriously to be a great captain. I, if we don't win the second one, we might have to change our nicknames because Blur with the Bar is just terrible. Man. Like, I can't. Like... You have a four in your name. I don't know if you should talk. He's a funny guy. Don't get me wrong, he's doing the job that he's doing really well. Byron as well, he, when he came to our team, he was the most silent guy you'd ever met. Like, he didn't get involved in any arguments, he didn't get involved in any discussions, he didn't talk really. And then when it was time to leave for the day, he said bye-bye, and then he just left. Hello. Do you know who gave me that nickname? Who? Your sister. <laughs> <laughs> the, the night was so good, it was just complete blur for us. I can't even remember. <laughs> Crazy night. <laughs> So he's changed around completely now. Now he's kind of become the second joker in the team after Carl. It's just really good to see how people develop when they get comfortable. And then we have Benja. I actually think uh, Benja would actually kick me for spite. I'm not even kidding. M80 if you call, I'm, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> he barely speaks English. Don't know the guy. We have Jake, who is the more serious, more mature guy. He's almost as old as me, which says a lot if you're an esports player and you're still that old. So he's the more mature and the stable guy that he always keeps his calm. And then we have the emotional youngster in, in Doki. Anything small can really impact his entire day. See if we don't win the major. Do you think we would go into Gamers 8 feeling uncomfortable? Uncomfort what do you mean going into Gamers 8? You wouldn't be with this team anymore. Yeah, you'd be benched, Doki. I'm sorry. Yeah, would you kick me if you lose? Yeah, I think we're picking so up spoilers. So I'm actually playing for my career tomorrow. You're playing for your career right now. Holy If hell. you don't do this, well, I'm getting spoiled back to Europe. Ooh, imagine having spoiled. It's unrealistic, first of all, so I know it's a joke. That's a bad idea. I mean, I think it's really hard for me spe specifically because I'm quite like an emotional person, so it's important for me to like have good connections with people. I think a lot of people think stuff just goes over my head or like one in here and out the other, you know, when in actual fact it's like complete opposite, so yeah. And then when your career is over, you're going to be a truck driver in a warehouse. No, I don't drive. For 45 years. He can't reach the pedals. He can't reach the pedals. Oh. The wheels are bigger than <laughs> <laughs> I find it really hard to hide, like sometimes the way I feel, because I'd rather be upfront with people, like especially people I care about, like my team or uh, close friends and stuff. Like I'd rather just be brutally honest and like say things how it is instead of like trying to hide emotions and stuff. Fabian just runs his mouth too much sometimes, so yeah, he'll get what's coming to him. Yeah, let's, let's review Oregon and Skyscraper, we don't have any info, so... We can do the A span, which we prepared for against VP, instead of Thermite, because I play Ying. Okay, so like, if they, if they ban Ying, we don't ban Ace? No, no. Ban Thermite? Yeah. Need no, we don't need to ban Thermite either. So what are we going to ban? We can ban Monty. There's a lot of responsibility in being the captain of the team. I think, like, uh, people look up to you, they see how you're feeling, and they... They feel how you feel. Fine, fine, fine. We can do it. We can do the barbecue. You have the barbecue one here as well? The, the mute one was only because we expected, like, either. It was like, I have to play Bandit, right? It was only if Bandit was going to get banned. Team captain means to be the one that needs to be dealing with the, the pressure, maybe more. Like, I need to put the pressure on my shoulders and not on the team's shoulders, in my opinion, so they can feel comfortable. To win is always important, it's the most important thing. Faze and Scars are almost ready to go, so let's kick it off. The prize pools these days, I don't even follow them really. I don't even know how much I can win. 
at the event we're at now. What are these teams fighting for? Well, it's a trophy that is right behind us and pretty massive and relatively heavy okay. trophy as yep. uh, we tried it out. But there's also quite a bit of cash on the line. Our winning team will run away with $200,000 and 80000 for the second right after. And you can so win a lot of money and the biggest prize pools, they can be huge. Um, but I made more as a player, but you still have a prize cut when you're, when you're a coach. It spreads out on a lot of people and it spreads out to organizations and it spreads it spreads into taxes, especially. And taxes aren't fun to pay. I wish I lived in a better country for that. Massive congratulations to FaZe Clan, our first semi-finalist of this major. Game number two is about to begin. Yeah, it's W7M versus m and If I look at what I've got, is that I have a deposit on my apartment and I have a car without a loan. But other than that, I've not really spent my money. Hello. This is Hi. Jack Fresh that I Hi. work with in Hi. Paris. Hi. This is doing? my mother. <gasps> Hello. No, this is funny because I watched you from downstairs. I, I, I tend to put it on a pile and uh, save up for the future. Get the family, get the house, get the normal, uh, normal life that you have. Two teams have, of course, booked their spot in our semi-finals tomorrow. Another team will be joining them. Are we ready for our third quarter-final, ladies and gentlemen? Having the crowd is uh, really, really amazing. When, when you do this and the crowd is like screaming because you just like put your hands up, like it's just like, it's amazing how you can like affect the, the crowd. It is your reigning world champions. G2! It's Team Liquid! Even though it's weird, like, it's nice to hear your name in the background, like, being cheered and all that stuff. I know, like, if the crowd is in our side, like, we have, like, more advantage to win the game, you know? It's, like, it's more energy for us. Now, Alamau, let me take you back to April the 30th. You tweeted, and I quote, Please give me liquid. Here they are. What now? Now we beat them. That's just being a G2 player. Like, you always have the crowd on your, your side because they're the biggest team in the world. to kick it off, G2 versus Liquid. This is a ballsy opener. Oh, surely not the missed drone. I can't believe it. Forbes has just walked straight into the Danes awaiting hands. It's also now for Team Liquid, the opening round. Not going their way whatsoever. The ball just starts to swarm around and they can Let's go, go boys! You're fucking the best player in the world! They are very hungry. And they have their eyes set on one thing right now. And that is uh, winning everything. Seven kills, zero deaths. Surely that's about to change. An eighth kill for him, but the cutoff from Volps. Liquid are finally on the scoreboard. I try, boys. Come on. So far, the competition was way closer. Liquid, with six rounds in a row, have just stolen their map pick. Now, unfortunately for G2, they take an L on map one. What started off as a wow. Let's go backstage immediately, shall we? Remember, remember our sky attacks. We can only win one or two attacks and win six defenses in a row. Doesn't matter. So we just play for the play for the red numbers. Let's go. Liquid show that they're doing these aggressive roams. G2 need to formulate a response at the drop of a hat. It's all up to Nesk now, who must clutch up, but the Scott says absolutely not. In the middle of the bomb cipher, shut down by Alamel. Oh, oh, oh. No! Let's go! Let's go! We're fucking done! 
Go. Really good yeah. for you, Byron. You're a fucking anchor. And we are all tied up G2, coming back and coming back to life on map number two. Yeah, they reinforced the house. Every, yeah, That's why we call so it. Split it's and push. push. You want to do it without? You want to, let's go for it. Just go for it. Just yeah. wait, when, we do this, fast. when we do this push, everyone needs to spawn right and just all, all, yeah. we need to guys, yeah. all we need to do is we just need to get a drone into barrel so we can check if it rotates there. That's, that's fine, true. that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. If we win now, it's a lot of money. The time with my family, my friends, I, I sacri I'm sacrificing now, you know? Let's go, boys. Yeah. I feel like uh, I'm going to be like super happy when like I have money and I have time to spend with like people that I love. Help my my mom and like my sister, my father, like uh, in my city. I think that it's hard for us to give up. Copenhagen, who takes it? Is it liquid? Is it G2? Yeah! I think we got clear okay. favorite. Audience, they rely on me, you know, and you let them down. Bangle onto the site. G2 highly aware of the position, but Volks opens the equation. He finds a double. And Liquid have completely stolen the show here. Me as a captain and IGL, I have to make sure we prep well enough. So it's all, all on my shoulders. This feels desperate, it feels fruitless. It's only a matter of time before Virtue gives him the final kill. He jumps straight on inside. And Liquid once again dominates. If we lose this game or win this game, like it's my fault, you know, because we didn't prep enough. Team Liquid are doing it! They're making it work! G2 relied just on Benja Master! And it's all done! They care not for world champions or super teams! Team Liquid are on a quest for revenge and they've got it! There was nothing we could have done to win that last map. They just completely outplayed us, like in every single aspect, like individually, team-wise, like strat strategic-wise. Like this was a big learning experience, and I've, I've never lost like this. Never. We've just been destroyed. I'm sad we lost, but like you gotta give it to them. They played really good team park here. We could have done better in Oregon, I guess, but that's the way it goes. I mean, all the guys were so sad after we lost, like. I haven't really seen them like that before. I've been doing this job for five years and I've only won once, like big once. So I've lost way more times than I've won. So it's easier for me to recover from a loss than to like be so hyped about winning. So it's fine. And you have to just go put on a fake smile and sign for hundreds of people. I mean, again, I think that's just being a G2, it's like, it's like expected, like when you when you look out to the audience or the crowd, like they all have the G2 jerseys on, like almost. There you go. Thank you so much. Dude. No problem. I guess it's part of the job, you got to support the fans. I'm living my old dream, you know, when I was like, when I was younger, I used to dream about this life. But the, when you, when you are living the life, it's not like, it's not your dream anymore, you know, it's just like your regular life. I don't think we, we wake up every day and we feel like the happiness of accomplished your dream. This is fairy tale. I, I feel like I'm living my dream, but I also think there's coming a point, you know, where it's not gonna be my dream anymore and I need to do something else. I mean, my biggest moment was to win six Invitational. There's coming in a paycheck and you just won a, a tournament for three million dollars. And how did that feel? Actually, I, f I felt nothing. Like, to be honest, like, yeah. It's a very egoistical job. Like, it's all about you, right, and, and your team. So everything that you sacrifice on the, the side, it's family, uh, friends, relationships, everything just kind of goes out the window because your main focus has to be winning and being the number one team in the world. And if you're not focusing on that, well, sure, you might be able to sit there and slide around in the mid teams in, in EU up, but is that really the, the, the dream? <laughs> you can probably go work in a supermarket and make more money if you do that. And you'd have more better hours and you'd have uh, more stable of a job. You, you lose out on a, on a lot of things. Friends, I, I don't even remember seeing them the last time. And I've been living in my, my hometown now for, what, four years again? 
This is Carl. That's my mother. Oh, hello. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Right now, I'm not in a relationship. That fell apart. That happens. Either you're traveling or you're working. There's no in between. You, you can't really spend that much time with each other. What is there really to build for yourself as a future? Yeah, he's a nice guy inside. I have to have an ego because of them. <laughs> because of them or yeah, your family? Because of them. <laughs> okay. I've suffered quite a lot actually, uh, mentally. My mental health was really, really rough. I never got myself diagnosed with anything, but I was having bad thoughts. Um, so mental health I do definitely think is something that should be spoken about a lot more. And I think that it needs to be removed as a stigma, especially for men to, to look for, for therapy. I've gone to it myself, and I think a lot of men that have, don't have, they, they feel like they can't talk about those things. And if people are going through things, they definitely should look it up. Because even if it only took me a few months with it, it has given me a completely different perspective on my life. Shall we head out? What it is that makes me happy and what makes me work the way that I do as a human and the way I think. You, you get the help you need and you'll get perspective that there are more things than just work. Ladies and gentlemen, your blast are six major Copenhagen champions, W. Sessions! Everybody who plays esports are kind of like addicted to the competition. You see many players trying to leave the scene and they just come back like months later trying to play again because you just like, when you experience the adrenaline to play in tournaments, to win tournaments, you can't live without that anymore. I still think we're the best players in the game and the best team in the game, like absolutely no doubt. We are better than both Liquid and W7M. I, I don't care if you say otherwise. I don't think it's only in esports that people hide how they're feeling. I think it's everywhere. Um, I think that more people suffer than we think. I'm trying to redefine myself as a person because I'm getting now to that stage where I said, I'm not going to be long in esports. I need to figure out who it is that I am and what it is that I want long term. So for me, I, I, I don't have a great description of myself. I'm a guy who likes video games. That's pre probably it. I like to watch movies and TV. I like to eat good food. I mean, put on some kilos because of that. But other than that, I don't have that much to define myself and I'm trying to find that. That's, that's my next step in life, find myself.